guys, welcome back to APL TV. Today we're talking about not your ordinary burger recipes. So I love that everyone always does the standard burger or the turkey burger, but I have four burgers here that will suit any dietary need, any flavors that you're craving, and also kind of cure that little dullness that you might have gotten after grilling too much over the summer. The first one that we have is a tuna burger. So I actually take canned tuna rather than doing the albacore tuna, which a lot of people do because that can be harder for people who aren't used to grilling to grill and know when the burger is done. So I pack together the tuna. I use a little bit of binder, and again, you'll see these recipes after this segment. You can always go to the blog at ashleypettitliving.com. But the tuna burger is bound together with a little bit of coconut flour. Now, you can really use anything that you want. I try not to use eggs in everything because a lot of people are allergic to eggs. So you'll find that the recipes all vary, but you can take out the egg if you put in another filler. The best thing about the tuna burger is it's topped with a wasabi cream sauce. You can literally use veganaise if you're dairy free and wasabi powder. That's it, that's all that goes in it. I used a little bit of organic sour cream for this one um, to show you the dairy, the dairy option. Now the second thing that we talk about is what do you serve it with? So I have tons of recommendations, but the tuna burger I love to serve over shredded cabbage. I don't want to put everything always on a bun. So sometimes it's about making a burger into a patty, putting it on top of a bunch of different vegetables and then chopping it up and eating it kind of like a salad. Um, but that's just a creative way to stay full and cabbage definitely will get you full. Our second burger is a wild salmon burger. I do the same thing that I do with the tuna. I buy Wild Planet wild canned salmon. You always want to go with wild, not farm raised. You're not getting all the antibiotics and things in it. It's much healthier and you're going to get all those real authentic omega-3s. They're not being added in for you. They're just there because it's wild. And we put a curry sauce in there. So we made a curried salmon burger with some scallions in there. I suggest grilling some scallions and putting them on the side or chopping them up, putting them on top. But the best thing about this curried burger is the flavor is going to be very musky with that curry. So I serve mine with peach preserves. I know, it sounds like it's something that you're not really going to be into, but trust me, it tastes so good. And if you want to mix the peach preserves with a little bit of veganaise, organic mayonnaise, or organic sour cream, you can also do that to cut the sweetness of the, of the marmalade. So love that. All right, third burger, kind of what you may have seen before, but it's a stuffed chicken burger. Turkey meat, not always the best. I have to tell you, turkey meat sometimes has the same cholesterol as beef. So going for a white meat ground chicken, way better for you. We're gonna cut that fat, but chicken can be kind of boring. So we stuffed our burger with some sage, some dried cranberries, and some blue cheese. If you're dairy free, cut the blue cheese, who cares? But we did put a little bit of whole grain mustard on top, gives that, that little pinch, and we put it on a piece of grilled bread. I use gluten-free bread all the time. You can buy gluten-free buns, but if you spray a little bit of olive oil on top and you grill it, it adds that little extra flair to your burger rather than just having a plain old piece of bread. Our last burger, vegetarians out there. This is one of my favorites, the black bean burger. I make mine a little bit different by putting some scallions and cilantro inside of it and some jalapeno if you, if you so dare, but the best part on top is pico de gallo, avocado slices, and a little bit of chipotle mayonnaise. This is a vegan chipotle mayonnaise because I use veganaise. But you can use Greek yogurt too if you're looking for a sour cream or mayonnaise alternative. Add a little bit of cilantro on the side and you're good to go. Black beans, so much fiber, you're going to stay so full. And you can put this on top of grilled corn or any other grilled vegetables. You already have the carbs in the black beans, so really try to stay away from putting that on a bun because then you're just loading it up too much. Um, I do like to cut up some jicama and put it on top of jicama so you get a crunch to it. So these are the four APL Creative Burgers. We hope you enjoy.